So yeah, I'm up now. Been quite busy, as per usual. I've been editing a lot of videos. Lots and lots and lots. Doing, doing well, making good progress. Strong progress indeed. I've also just made some cakes. I walked through here to show them to you, but they're in the oven. So that was stupid, wasn't it? It's just a, a pre-mix pack from Aldi. Carrot cake. I added some extra walnuts. Not extra walnuts, I added walnuts because there weren't any in there. And uh, I'm gonna put this Betty Crocker rich cream. I actually, I added an egg as well for richness. Hopefully it hasn't fucked up the recipe, because that'd be annoying. But yeah, that'll be nice, and I'll, I will show you them when they're cooked, which is almost better, really, isn't it? So, so a fair while ago I tried a Charleston Chew vanilla one, really, really liked it. Quite a big fan of vanilla. Then I had a chocolate one, pretty nice, quite liked it. Um, I've had this knocking around for a while, it's a strawberry Charleston Chew. Not reviewed it or anything, but it's bloody delicious. This is my jam. This is my jam. If I go to America, I would definitely buy one of these. Okay, the cakes are out of the oven. And they look really nice. General thing about cakes, if you want to make them taste slightly richer, you can ex add extra egg yolk or, or even egg. Um, but yeah, these didn't even have eggs in, unless it was in the pre-cooked powder. But yeah, that's why I added it. Hopefully it'd be a little bit richer than just the plain bog standard thing. But yeah, they look nice. I'm going to leave them to cool before applying this cream cheese icing. The day continues to be busy and I am on top vlogging form because I've filmed a lot of stuff. I've got a Lego box out of the cupboard to sort through because I want to silhouette. Add a Marvel logo to my Marvel display. You can kind of pretty much see there the second row. Um, the slight concern it does raise is that obviously if it does get bigger and bigger, which it is, basic, well, yeah, I'm basically going to run out of room immediately. Um, well, in terms of this thing here, so this, do you know what, I, basically I don't really want to move it, so I'm thinking that I want to just raise it, so I need to put under, something underneath it, but that'll be slightly challenging, but we will see, I'm sure I can come up with some kind of interesting and great fantastical idea, yeah! Here are the cakes again, and literally the world's worst lighting, hmm, smells right, actually, let's give this a little hashtag preview flavour, hmm. Not bad. Not very cream cheesy, but um, anyway, whatever. Um, I'm by no means a pastry chef, so... I mean, that obviously looks dreadful. Um, yeah, good. I don't know if this icing needs to be more pliable. This is... Oh, God, this is not... Well, I mean, it's, look, it's going to taste all right, isn't it? Anyway, I'm going to cover it up. Cover it up with nuts and powder. I suppose it doesn't look that bad. I don't actually like a like heavily iced cupcake. I quite like ones with not much icing on. So I've had a very small bite of one of these, so I actually know they're quite moist. Moist. People don't like the word moist. 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 You must be dry at all times. You must be completely void of moisture. I don't want to make a mess I'm doing this in the sink. Don't know how well this is going to work actually. I'm going to take that out first because I need to put this in here. Okay. That's probably, probably too heavily, heavily cinnamon, but Don't know if I'm doing a good job with this cinnamon shit. Three. Count along with me! Sesame sink. Three. It's actually four. That was a test. Make sure you're paying attention. Maths can be fun. By the way, these are obviously walnuts. Well, is it obvious? Yeah. Should be obvious. It's probably obvious. The aroma of the cinnamon is absolutely delicious. I should mention actually, this is a cinnamon and ice and sugar mix. Good. Good. Very good, well done. Yes, yes, chop, chop. Running out of nuts because half of them are in the sink area, which is obviously completely fine. Heavily cinnamoned. Hope you're enjoying this because the narrating is absolutely fantastic and not at all boring. Self-criticism. Where would we be without self-criticism? Ah, don't they look nice? Oh great, they finally installed an escalator. Try that again. Oh great, they finally installed an escalator here. Oh, I can't. oh great, they finally installed an escalator here. It's approaching 5pm 
and I'm waiting for Claire to get home from High Wycombe. Which is really cool because we're going to go and see Civil War. It's the second time that I will have seen it. And I can't bloody wait. There's a cut, you've seen them. I'm seeing the cupcakes, seeing the cupcakes. I'm gonna, uh, just been editing a load of videos and whatnot, uploading videos. I do quite like, uh, like long weekends and weekends where I'm not doing anything because it means I get massively caught up on YouTube, which is really good because it basically means that I can relax a little bit. Um, also, my stag do is in like two weeks, under two weeks, probably a week and a half now, so I need to try and get as much done before then. It's only a couple of days, about three, three days or so. But yeah, I'll be away for three or four days. That's three or four days where not only am I not editing, but obviously I'm not up uploading, so I need to get enough done so that it covers that period. And then some blah, 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 lads. Oh. Do, you, do you like the look of them? Yeah, they look nice. I haven't tried one yet. Well, I might have a cup of tea. Cup of tea. I'm about to try the cupcake. Beautiful. Because I added that egg, nice and rich, but otherwise, quite impressed with Aldi's product there. About to say you did not put foil on it, did you? Claire and I are seeing Captain America, aren't we, Claire? Yep. Claire, did you want popcorn or anything? <laughs> Not really. Go, 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 go. We just got out of Civil War. Claire really liked it. Yep. One of your favourite Marvel films? Uh, yeah, stop, stop. Oh, go, 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 go. Oh my god, you're so dangerous, you're so reckless. I would have said it was my favourite. No, one of the best ones, though. Kind of de icer from the looks of it. I know we. I know we got on a little excursion with a water low, you know. Why did you talk like that? Because it's sick me. Oh my god, there's a cat. No, 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 don't open the island. Oh, it seems like. I was going to try and call it over. Okay, go on. Have they got any num nums? No, don't look like I've got any num nums. Num nums, num nums, num nums. Oh, they've got a nice I display there, though. It's done the other day, didn't it? Yeah. No, I can't see any num nums. Num nums, num nums. Hello everyone and welcome to a very special episode of Food Review UK that is nestled in the middle of a vlog. Life of Michael Jameson vlog. So yes, well done to you for watching my vlogs because you've got an exclusive episode of Food Review UK. This is Kelly's of Cornwall Clotted Cream Flavour Ice Cream. This is their new kind of premium sub brand I guess. Um, it's kind of their um, ice cream parlour style so they've made this really funky packaging which I really love. I've had one, I've had the salted caramel chocolate brownie. Not much smell coming from this. Uh, chocolate salted caramel figgy bob was amazing, it really blew me away. Hence why I was willing to pay full price for this. £3.99. Mental. Hagen dazs was on special offer. That tells you how eager I am to try this. Right, here we go guys. Clotted cream flavour from Kelly's. Mm. Oh wow. Oh my god. That is so, that is so rich. Perfect sweetness, and it really does have such a strong flavour of cl clotted cream. The aftertaste just feels like you've eaten a scoop of clotted cream. God damn, that is good. It's so rich. The texture is superb. It's very soft, very nice, very uh, velvety, slightly moussey, similar to Hagen dazs but a bit more moussey, aerated. And the aftertaste is astonishing. I'd give that a high five stars. Right, on with the vlog. I'm tired and I'm gonna go to bed. Sunday morning, this is usually one of the most productive times of the week for me. And today I'm extra determined to get a lot done. So I'm gonna get on with the video editing and see what happens. Tesco have released new sausage patties. So I'm having one for breakfast and a pseudo McMuffin. There we go. Uh, I want to get a bit of yolk. Oh, the yolk is runny. Not like McDonald's. Here we go. Bloody hell, that is excellent. Well done, Tesco. Wow, you've smashed that one out of the park. 
we're at Lidl again. Lie. We're not. We're at Aldi. Um, so that's good. Lying to my viewers. No, we're at Aldi and we're going to do the weekly shop. And I can't remember what I was going to say. Oh, yeah. I've been doing some sick kings on social media today. Here's what I did. Uh, very, very sick. And now I'm going to put that on actual food review because I'm so happy with it. It is just one of those shitty little, um, ah, doing one of those things. What's your, what's your bloody, uh, house called? Um, but my one's actually good, so. Looks like Claire's waiting for me. What about some of this? Carrot and sweet mash, we never get anything like that. I don't really like sweet though, that's the problem. Sweet ass. You're gonna make me eat. Eh? Hey? Yeah, fuck it, just an extra little thing in it. Who's that listed? Emma's birthday. Woohoo! Yeah. Happy birthday, Emma. Two little ducks, 22. <laughs> I'm not sure we sat at the crazy bear. I've gone for the traditional Chinese dish. <laughs> Chips. Tell me. Tell me. Look. Doing this cake. Getting it up. It's fungi, isn't it? After three then, under <laughs> trois. Happy, Happy birthday, birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, to you. Happy birthday dear Emma. Happy birthday to you. This is just fucking cool. This is my super cool video. It's called Lego Rainbow Light. It's one of my videos on my Lego channel. It's where I basically put like a light show on. <laughs> what is this first? Mm. Project it at a Lego set. Yeah. I don't want to. And I love it. I think it looks awesome. Getting tired, but. Getting through some YouTube videos, including my own. Um, I'm borderline falling asleep. So I think I'm gonna go to sleep now. I'm gonna keep vlogging in the morning. Good night. It's the morning, and I'm going to do some video editing. Check out this insanely, insanely cool video editing technique that I saw on Chandler's channel. So I freely admit I'm basically copying his idea. So, yeah. Just editing the vlog, and I'm going to continue doing that. That was actually a lot smoother on Chandler's channel. So... My intention is to go to QD Best Buy Fair later to buy another one of those boxes because I just have too much light grey. Um, so far I've only got a black and dark grey in one of those big boxes but it's just too much. So I might buy a couple and uh, I'm also going to subdivide my Technic pieces so I can make use of more drawers. And yeah, thanks. I've just made a wry observation. I'm on my way right now and I've decided to time it actually. So, that's how long it's been since I actually left my house. 54 seconds. So it'll be interesting to see like what regular intervals things happen probably. 
so that took about 8 minutes and 55 seconds. Slightly longer than I thought it would, but I was walking at quite a leisurely pace, which is not really what I do. Not an athlete or anything, obviously. Absolutely nothing against QD or those who shop in there. Me. Uh, but it smells. It reeks of poor people. And that sound is like royalty free music, which is just bad. Anyway, I'm looking for some storage, so here we go. 4 for £12. Pounds. These are a little bit too deep, unfortunately. I like them, but a bit, a bit too deep. I need shallower, but like bigger. I quite like filming outside because of the lighting and change of scenery and whatnot, but sometimes the wind makes it challenging. audio ali audio ali challenging. Verbal recognition system. I've got my boxes, there they are. Just two plain boxes. What awful vlog content. Awful. I got some fucking boxes. I got some storage boxes, everyone. Storage! When I was here a few days ago, I saw some school children hanging out in this um, little alleyway. I'm guessing that it's quite a common uh, retreat for those wanting to smoke drugs and such. Um, but they've written some kind of things on here. So we've got I'm an asylum seeker, phone me. Uh, we've got Gralak at Grace Von Welch. So I'll probably, probably at you. Fag Alley for Life. Oh, okay, so Fag Alley. So this is actually where uh, youngsters like to come and uh, consume cigarettes. Uh, that's quite a nice bit of artwork there. That's probably an art student that did that. Got anything else interesting? Ill hook you up. Ill hook you up. I don't know if that's supposed to be I'll, maybe. I'll hook you up. Oh, here we go. Steph gives blowies for crack. So there we go, if you happen to have any crack cocaine, uh, you might receive some oral, oral st stimulation in exchange for that. Uh, from Steph, of course. Fag Ali, so yeah, Fag Ali mentioned again, so this clearly is quite a popular... Uh, oh, there's a wasp. And I'm now going to turn into David Attenborough. Awful impression. I've actually always thought of that uh, in vlogs when they do the thing where they like walk past the cameras if they're uh, or at like, the end of the video they'll walk off and it's like well better go back and get your camera mate I have seen it, I've actually seen someone parody it in a vlog um, uh, what's his name? the guy who's doing the flu who did Vlogtober no Vlogvember because every all the people do Vlogtober and he did Vlogvember as like a parody thing Anyway, I'd always thought of this technically an original idea, mine and his. Uh, windy, so fucking windy. Apologies. I'm going to prepare lunch slash dinner now. We're having roast. Food! Lunch is now prepped. We're going to have some boiled broccoli and carrot. Some roast potato with polenta, really good. I've done these slightly larger than I normally do them because I find they break down a little bit too much and shrink when I cut them smaller. Uh, and these maple butter carrots. Bake in the oven, same time as the chicken. I'm gonna cover it with foil. Amazing way to cook it, delicious. I'm now gonna put a little bit of time into tidying my room. Cool. I'm aware this is an absolutely colossal portion, but 
Oh, I, don't, I don't know how to defend myself. Yeah, it's a roast. <laughs> I don't know how to defend myself. These smell amazing. I mean, it all looks really good. You might say these are burnt. It's only because I put colouring, well, not colouring, turmeric in the uh, polenta coating and um, definitely doesn't taste burned. It tastes delicious. Here we go. You might be reassured and pleased to know that I couldn't finish my dinner. Uh, no, it was obviously far too large. But I did enjoy it, it was very delicious, expertly cooked by me, awkward. I'm going to wrap up the vlog here because I intend to pretty much just chill for the remester of the evening. Remester, it's a bit like remainder and it's a bit like rest of, um, but it's slightly different. Yeah, I'm going to, I've just been on the computer all day really editing and catching up with things and things, uh, which is cool, definitely got a lot done. But I'm going to chill, I think I'm going to watch some YouTube videos, watch Game of Thrones and play Hearthstone. That is my action plan for the evening. Hope you enjoyed the vlog. Leave a comment below because A, it's just good, isn't it? B, I definitely want to speak to you about the quality of the vlogs. Uh, do you want to see something in particular? I'm going on my stag day. Stag day, I've forgotten something. I want to show you something. Got to show you this. Um, <laughs> it looks pretty awesome actually. Um, what it is, is a camcorder with a fisheye lens supposed to be for a phone, uh, sellotaped onto it. This is what I plan to take on my stag do, just to give you a somewhat of an idea of what it looks like. It kind of looks a little bit like that. Um, yeah, it's obviously got these bits around the side, but that, that can't really be helped. And it is a fish eye, that is what fish eyes do. Um, but yeah, pretty happy that it's actually worked, to be honest. Uh, I've already got a different camcorder that I'm taking. I'm not actually taking this camcorder because it's very expensive. I've got a worse, cheaper one. Um, but yeah, I'm going to Germany in literally just over a week, a week and a half, actually. Uh, very excited, indeed. Um, come around quickly actually we're going to Europa Park and it's just it's gonna be fucking brilliant we planned to go to Europa Park about seven years ago and uh, the volcanic ash cloud stopped us so yeah it'd be good to finally get there assuming that there's not another volcanic ash cloud thanks for watching my vlog as I say leave a comment below I want to interact with you and also want to hear your feedback is important to me I've spent a lot of hard work time and effort on these particular ones so I may not do another longer one until my stag do. Uh, but at my stag do, I'm probably going to do live-ish updates, i.e. just film a quick video each day and upload it. And then obviously when I get back, I'll do very long, awesome, super epic vlogs. Thanks for watching, everyone, and goodbye.